Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. So today I'll be doing, guess what? Uh, I'll be painting Niagara Falls and I'm just so excited because this is one of my favorite subjects. I've painted this I think twice in the past and I just want to show you the process of doing this as to as regards my own process because you know many people have different or a lot of artists have different techniques so I just want to share with you my own techniques so for today's painting tutorial I'll be using the following colors we have here primary blue um, sap green black mid yellow and titanium white all the colors that I've mentioned will be listed in the description box below but I just felt the need to just mention them as well so let's first sketch the subject and for the sketch I'll be using uh, an ordinary brush you know I'm really not concerned about um, the brushes that I'm using to be honest guys I don't even know which one is 0 0.0 0 0.5 point whatever number uh, number one as you can see here the details on this paintbrush is no long the details are no longer visible because of the dried acrylics so i really don't care so much about the paintbrush but as you can see here you can see you know if you have a lot of brushes you can actually see what type of brush i'm using without even explaining it just by looking at it you know we're, we're all visual artists so i think you understand what i'm talking about so I'm going to sketch for the subject and for the sketch, I'll be using my black. So I'm just going to dab onto my black. And just sketch. So this will be the horizon line. All right, just like that. There will be some mist around this area and the waterfalls will be right here. Okay, now I'm gonna use a wider brush. Again, I don't even know what type of brush this is. So for those who are asking, I cannot answer you unfortunately, but I hope that by looking and observing um, what things I'm using, you can have an idea of what paintbrush I'm using. So for the underpainting of the water, I'm just gonna use again my black. This time I'll be adding my primary blue so that it's not absolutely black. I will be using palette knife today so get your palette knives ready if you're painting along with me All right, and I'll be using the same underpainting color right here.
All right, just like that. Okay. This area will be covered with mist anyway. That's why I'm not really focusing too much on that. All right, now we're going to underpaint the waterfall. So for that, I'll be using my sap green, my mid yellow and my blue. Okay, green and then white. So it's like this. I'll be adding a little bit of black. Again, green and then blue. So it's like turquoise color, right? Okay. I think I'll be using more green right here. So since we're doing waterfalls, we might as well follow the movement of the subject and that is going downwards. We don't wanna go vertical this time because again, we're following the patterns of nature. All right, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of blueness to this area. Okay, right here. Just to add more depth. Okay, I'm gonna mix my blue and black. Okay, again, blue and black, just to show you Let's add some depth. Okay, like that. And then we'll be going back to that later for now. Let's just allow the paint to, to dry. Okay. All right. Okay, wash your brush out. Or you can get another brush. I'm just gonna use another clean brush. All right. This is, all right, for those who are asking, um, I'm trying my best to read it, but it says here 778-NGF. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the number. So I'm gonna make this area grayish color. So for that, I'll be using my white and my black. Okay, and we're gonna dry brush now. Dry brushing meaning we remove the excess water from the paint brush. We leave it quite damp, but not too watery. So this time I'm just gonna damp it by uh, dabbing or uh, using a towel. And then I'm just gonna brush this way so if you're scared of ruining your brush um, just use an old brush that you don't really like uh, as for me I really don't mind um, using my brushes because for me brushes are supposed to do the job for us when it comes to um, applying the paint so if it doesn't help what purpose does it serve then i hope i'm making sense some people are just too scared to use their brushes i'm buying my brushes to serve me well i don't just buy them um to take care of them like pets or something like that i do love my supplies but i make sure that they do the job that they are done for. Is that the right English for that? I think they should do the job for the purpose that they are made for, right? Not done. Sorry. 
So again, as you can see here, I'm just making some circular patterns. And I'm trying to create that misty effect. So you can see here we're already starting to you can already see how things are gonna um, how things are gonna go so still actually my gray color is quite blue but I think it's all right too All right, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna allow that first to dry. Let's go to the sky part because I haven't really done it. So for the sky, I'm gonna use the same color that we use for the mist, okay? I'm gonna add black to make it more grayer, to make it more gray, and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to suggest the sky. Maybe more black. And I'm gonna use this to make my sky here. Okay, don't worry too much for now when you, or if your horizon is not that straight we're going to fix that later mine is not that straight i think so i'm just gonna fix that later when everything is under painted already right. so i'm gonna create a little bit of blue hints on this area to suggest that this is the sky only that it's quite cloudy okay i'm gonna use a cleaner brush for white like that okay again white okay you know me and my finger painting Just like that okay we're already like we're 40% done all right now 
let's go back to the water so I'm gonna get my white okay and I'm going to apply some white here Also here, some white. We're doing already the highlights for the water. So as you can see here, I'm just dry brushing. Meaning I'm not really using a lot of water. We will definitely be using our palette knife. So get ready with your palette knives. Okay, now we're going to highlight the water even more. So using the watercolor, watercolor, I mean the color of the water that we used earlier, I'm just gonna get my green and black, okay? And then blue. Okay, blue, black. So it's like this. I'm gonna use this to create some highlights in the water. Okay, maybe more blue so it's like this just add more blue like that okay now I'm just gonna get my blue and then white and black again we're following the movement of the of the subject so for this area the water is still flowing um, towards the right or towards the left all the way down Forming the waterfalls. I'm gonna wash my brush out because the green is mixing, the blue is mixing. I just need some gray. I'm gonna dab onto my black and to my white. Okay, I'm gonna get my blue. All right, so this color, not too blue, not too um, green. I'm gonna add more black. Then using this color,
Okay, I'm gonna get a black. This time I'm going to create some depth. Okay, now using this black, I'm just going to darken this area. Again, we want to create some sort of dimension. Even if we're painting waters, All right, now using my black again, let's go back to the horizon. Let's create some suggestion of distant, I think, um, distant sub, uh, objects. They could be trees, mountains. So if you live in Canada, you know exactly um, what I'm talking about. That this, the horizon line with respect to this view has some distant objects. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna dab onto my white. Let's go back to highlighting it. Okay, now I don't wanna use my white. I'm gonna get my gray. I don't want to use white right away. So I'm gonna gray first my white and use it for the first stage of highlighting. So it should not be super, super white. We'll do the, the brighter lights or brighter highlights later. here just across that horizon or along the horizon line okay now I'll be using my white along this um, waterline.
Okay, I'm gonna get my black. Let's create some rocks. All right, let's start. Okay, we're not yet done with the smoke and all the details. It's super raw at the moment. So for that, I'll be using, hmm. Okay, I'll be using a fan brush. I'm gonna dab onto my white. This is pure white. I'm gonna get my black. Let's go back to doing some depth. And using this black, I'm just going to mix it with the existing white that I have here and using the gray color. You know, my white is too white. Like, uh, when I have another color and I mix it with white, the paint suddenly just become becomes pastel <laughs> immediately, even if it's just a dot of white. My white is just too white. Okay, now I'm gonna get back to the yellow green, to the turquoise color that we have, and I'm gonna add white. Remember when we did this part? So that's the color, that's the exact color that we're going to use to create more detailing. Okay, now I'm just gonna get my black and add that to the turquoise color just to outline the waterline. Very subtle outlining. We just don't want that to be looking floating on paper.
right, just like that. Okay, now we're going to fix this missed part. I'm just gonna make sure that my brush does not have any blue or green. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna redo uh, the step that we had here when we did the mist. So it should be a little dark right here. Right. Okay, using just pure white. Okay, just like that. I feel like the mist is too dark, so I'm just gonna apply some white to make it softer all right just like that okay now let's use our palette knives so get your palette knives and I'm gonna dab onto my white I'm gonna get pure white because my white here is quite contaminated with other colors as you can see here my white already has some green and blue so I'm just gonna use that for some other purpose but for the purpose of highlighting the waters I'm just gonna use pure white so just make sure you don't add other colors use the back of the palette knife and spread it like butter or maybe not just use the edge the edge of the palette knife to create small highlights just like what I'm getting here so I kind of like the the details that I'm getting so I'm gonna use okay and
I don't know why I'm getting yellow. So by using our palette knives, we create texture that are not otherwise present if we're just merely using our paint brushes. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white, try to Make some more detailing on the mist. So I'm gonna wet my brush to soften those brush strokes that would have otherwise been super hard line, I mean, composed of hard lines. So I wanna soften it by adding water to the paint. So I'm going to get my white and then blue. So just create this light blue color. I'm going to add again black. Let's highlight the water line or the waters near the falls. gonna get my white let's highlight some rocks right here I'm highlighting this area by using some light turquoise color. Okay. Again, I'm using in black. Just 
to add more depth Like that let me check all right so I think I'm gonna soften it even more by adding this turquoise color so I'm just gonna make another turquoise color I'm just gonna mix my green and blue and a little bit of yellow and white more blue and a little bit of black so I'm going to use this color to glaze and soften the water area near the falls. Oops, that's too much I think. Let's go back to our palette knife. Just gonna darken this area using black. here for light turquoise We need more details on the clouds. And then using white, let's just go along this area, the horizon line where some distant uh, objects are located. So this could be anything, mountain 
or houses, trees, like that. Let me check. Okay. Right. I think I'm going to glaze this with some black. So I'm going to get my black paint and using that, I'm just going to glaze it because I feel like um, it's really rough. I'm just going to glaze it. To give it more some oneness in color. Just like that. All right, I like it way better. Okay, again. Adding some mist. So I'm just fixing the sky to give it more smooth uh, look.
Here, more drama. All right, I think this is good, guys. Right? So I think we're done. So I'm gonna sign this now because we're done. I like it, I like it very much. Wait, I'm just gonna glaze. Okay, here I go again. After saying I'm done. I'm just gonna get my white and I'm gonna glaze this part of the water to highlight it even more, only this part. It's like the middle section. Just highlight it, okay? Just to give it more light play. All right, I like it way, way better. So I'm gonna sign this now because I'm done. I'm done, guys. So I'm gonna sign this now. I'm just gonna use a small brush. I'm gonna get my white. Using white, I'm just gonna sign right here. And we're finished. So I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope you paint along with me. If you're painting along with me, let me know in the comment section below. And show me your pictures following along my painting tutorials so that I can show them on my social media accounts. See you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.